This week's video, the one you're watching now, will be on YouTube. Next week's video will be on Patreon. Driving stick is a creative exercise. Not the making up from scratch part of creative, but the exercise part of creative. Reps, technique. The stick driver is in a constant state of refining his or her feel for operating the vehicle most beautifully. Okay, slowly take your foot off the clutch. Oh, there we so go. So it's starting to oh, grab. Yeah, you have to push it. You have to like really, really hold hard. It. Yeah, so put, let it all the way out slowly. All the way out? Okay. okay, now push the gas. It's going to bounce, but that's okay. Ooh, okay, give it more bouncing. gas to stop the bouncing. Okay, now push the clutch in. So when this gets to 2,500, you push the clutch in and pull this all the way down. All right, and then uh, that's just about it. You're not gonna go much faster than this on the beach. I just want to transition. Can always help. No, you never go back to first when you're rolling. Why? What do I, but go what ahead. I do? Okay. okay, I'll go back to second. Second. Yep. Why don't you ever go back to first when you're rolling? I don't know. You can if you're rolling really slowly, like two miles. An I hour. just want to know how do I go to a, like what do I do if I want to turn around? Okay, so that takes some clutch work. Okay, then let's do that. Can I push right. the brake? Like, am I, what's gonna happen? All right, so every time you, it's just like the motorcycle, every time you wanna push the brake or stop, you gotta push the clutch in. Okay. Don't stop on that soft sand No, either. I'm not going to. I'm gonna go onto this turnaround right here, and I'm going to turn the so car around. when you're doing slow stuff, it's a clutch. Okay, you push clutch. the clutch in, coast. Don't touch this thing. Okay. And then manage the clutch and the gas. I mean, I've now pushed the clutch in and we've stopped. Okay, so now you got to go into first. Okay. And now let the clutch out a little. You got to, you know, also you're driving cars, so make sure you're not running over children and I know, stuff. I know, that's why I went to this area, because there's no one here. All right, so yeah, so there you go. And okay. now when it gets to 2,500 there, you can change gears. Okay, I'm not at 2,500. Or when you feel it, like it feels like it's revving high. You can, yeah. Ooh, okay. The All right, drum. not bad, not bad. I mean, I would say, based on the way you're driving, that you know how to drive stick. This is, okay, so I, it, it could have been worse. Yeah, I mean, you're driving, isn't this fun? I mean, I love driving at the beach. All right, I can See, do first a second. See, you're driving, you're driving <laughs> Yeah, that means you can do a long. Really, is that the hard one? First, okay, watch out for that car. Watch out for that car. Clutch, 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 clutch. panicked pulling the fucking truck in and smashed into these fucking rocks and tore up the bumper bent it to shit the clutch is the panic button just remember that if anything gets squirrely smash that clutch to the floor when in doubt clutch neutral is that wiggly place in the middle. First. Second. Third. Fourth. And fifth. When do we shift? When it feels right. How much clutch? You just gotta feel it. No way to adequately put it into words. And that's what pisses people off slash frightens them when you try to teach it. The spirited man loves driving stick because it's an exercise that refines not our thoughts, but our feel.
Okay, gracias. Right okay, on. not bad. No mahalo. Even a 35-year veteran of manual transmissions must acclimate his or her body and muscles to each new gearbox and clutch through input into and feedback from the vehicle's behavior. Sort of like developing a technique for sculpture or repair. Sorry for yelling at you, Isabel. The truck is half yours after all, and you'd only been driving stick for 30 minutes or so. The bumper cost us only a hundred bucks to get fixed, and it was fun and beautiful. On this week's Patreon only video. While I was in Mexico, I watched two documentaries that had such an effect on me. One of the documentaries was about a tennis player. One of the documentaries was about a writer. The writer and the tennis player embody the two voices that fight inside my head.